Yo, in today's video we're going to be talking about how to fetch API data and set up a Chakra UI table. Let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I have a basic React I've made right here and the first thing we need to do is we need to install all the dependencies that we need. So we're going to be installing Chakra UI, Emotion, Styled, Framer Motion, and Chakra UI table. Alright, so now we've installed our dependencies and next thing we need to do is we need to fetch some data from our API. The API that I've chosen to go with is the Ball Donut API. It's just a simple basketball API that's going to fetch us some player names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a use state variable and I'll call it const player data and set player data is equal to use state and set it to an empty array block. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to call the fetch to lie the bald and API using fetch in a use effect. So I'm going to create a use effect with a self cooling brace. And inside of the curly braces, I'm just going to go ahead and make a fetch request to our bald and API that's going to fetch data from the API. And it's going to do response.json. And then it's going to set our player data to be data.data. And after consoling the data, we can see that we have approximately 25 players console logged and that's exactly what we want and so now let's go ahead and actually build out our table so what I'm going to do is within my return statement I'm going to create a table container and this table container is going to contain all the data that we need for a table instead of here I'm going to give it something called table and I'm going to import it, it from chakra UI and it's going to take two sections. So it's going to take something called T head, which is going to be the head of the table. And it's going to take something called T body, which is going to be the body of the table. So all the individual rows. All right. So for our table head, we're going to give it something called TR, which stands for table row. And then we're going to give it something called TH table head. And it's going to be our individual sections. So this is going to be name, and after that, we're going to do another TH, and this is going to be team that that the player belongs to. And I'm going to import TR from Chakra UI table. All right, so to display our actual data from our API inside of my T body, I'm going to do curly braces, and I'm going to call the player stats, oops, player data. And I'm going to do question mark dot map. So if there's any data available, I'm going to give it player and we're going to loop through each individual row and render each row. So I'm going to do TR, so same thing as up here, table row. And then I'm going to do TD this time. And I'm going to give it player dot first underscore name. And then I'll do player dot first underscore oops, last underscore name. There we go. And import it from chakra UI table and I'll give it TD and we'll do player oops player dot team dot full underscore name and basically what we did here is we created a map function that takes each individual item loops through it and then it's going to display it as an individual row with a player's first and last name and their full team name I do have a quick typo uh, these curly braces should actually be parentheses like so there we go and now if we go into our app we can see that we have our table right here with all individual rows dynamically printed and one quick thing you can do is if you want to style your table a little bit you can give it a variant called striped and it gives you this cool little striped functionality right here all right so that concludes this video on how to dynamically create a table in chakra ui if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one peace